Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He could take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, Ven. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both perform commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's got to break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. <sighs> And in so much as you are now Keyblade Master, you must always be conscious of... <laughs> what is that? What happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Very well then. I will send my pupils to investigate. Yes, I understand. Farewell.
That was my dear old friend Yen Sid. As you know, he is master no more. But he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more reason then for concern, for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, as you may assume, but also from a new threat, one that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form, Yen Sid calls them the Unversed. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The Unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Eliminate the Unversed, and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. You may use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. The darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Last, remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go, and fulfill your duty. Yes, Master. Terra, consider this an opportunity, a second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know, I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you Master in a second. But how can I? when you are so obsessed with power. Terra, you mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power, and obsession beckons the darkness. You must never forget. Thank you, Master. I swear, I will not fail you again. Master, I best be on my way. Wait, Aqua. Before you depart, I have one other, well, call it a request, of the utmost priority. Yes? I told Terra this could be a second chance to show the mark of mastery, and I meant it. However, that flicker of darkness he displayed during the examination. I can sense it runs very deep. If he were to... If those powers were to prove too much for him to handle, I want you to bring him back to me at once. It's for his own good. He could not bear to lose any of you to the darkness. Of course. I would never let that happen. I promise you I will bring Terra back. Only this time... You'll see he has what it takes to be a master. He's not as weak as you think.
You have to bring him back. Don't worry, Master. Mademoiselle! Senorita! Wait! Hmm? Aqua! Tara! Tara, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? No. Actually, just before I left, he tried to tell me something. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. So, did you manage to locate Master Zaynort? No, but it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. All right. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua. Hmm? You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Mm. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. He'll be all right. He won't give in to it. those ladies? Oh, if I recall correctly, that is Lady Tremaine, and those are her daughters. There was something very wrong about them. You came back. Huh? Oh, my apologies. I was mistaken. <laughs> Your Highness, I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. One dropped by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. You will? Of course, Your Highness. After all, you finally found someone whom you wish to marry. Upon hearing that happy news, your father, the king, has decreed that a quest shall begin immediately throughout the kingdom. And I will start with the closest residence, that of Lady Tremaine. Lady Tremaine. I'd better pay her a visit. You honor our humble home, my lord. <clears throat> Quite so. May I present my daughters, Grisella and Anastasia? As I feared, there is darkness here. Wait! It's dangerous to fight the darkness with light, my dear. Who are you? Cinderella's fairy godmother. I appear to those who believe that dreams come true. Then I'm honored. But why would you advise me not to fight darkness with light? Strong rays of sun create dark shadows. 
Sadly, Lady Tremaine and both her daughters are jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. Qualities that appear to you as light. Jealousy is darkness. Light and dark go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Then, what should I do? It's quite simple, dear. One of Cinderella's friends is trying very hard to keep her light from fading. I want you to join Little Jack and help him. I can do that. You'll need a bit of my magic to help, Shark. Come back and see me when you're ready. Bippity boppity boo! You're the only ladies here? There's no one else, Your Grace. Come on, hurry, Jack. if I tried on the glass slipper? Hmm. I met you at the palace. Unfortunately, you are not the young lady the prince is looking for. But I am a girl. I should at least be given a chance to try it on. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? She's probably here to rob us. Mother, do something! That girl does not live here. I have only two daughters. I believe we're finished here, Your Grace. Regardless, she means no harm. Here you are, my dear. Jack, hurry. Your Grace, please wait. May I try it on? Pay no attention to her. She's just an imaginative child. Madam, my orders were every maiden. You should let her go first. Thank you. I actually want to thank you for teaching Tara he needs to keep believing. What will I do? Oh, please, don't worry. You see, 
I have the other slipper. must inform the prince immediately. You will come with me, of course. I'd be happy to. It's not fair! She's a scullery maid! Mother! Are you just going to let them leave? No. Cinderella will be put in her place. What's that? <laughs> what happened? Where is Cinderella? She, she was attacked by a, a creature, a, a monster in the forest. <laughs> a monster? This is what happens when you go against my wishes. The darkness in their hearts overtook them. Go. heart filled with light it's strange the master taught me darkness needs to be destroyed but how if not with light oh my dear you're too young to know experience more things and you'll find the answer just trust in your dreams What has happened here? Poor Snow White. <laughs> she was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs. And made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories. About falling in love with the prince she met. And when we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. She was so full of kindness. Why, she made better folk of all of us. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. But how did this happen to her? A wicked queen was horribly jealous of our dear Snow White's beauty. 
so she used her evil magic to change into an old hag that she gave Snow White a poison apple. And by the time we got here, well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do would wake her. Isn't there some way we can help her? Well, not unless somebody craves the vessel. I'll brave the castle. No, you fools can stay here doing nothing. But I'm not a fear of going, not even to that witch's lair. You'll never make it. The castle's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. All right, then I'll go. You will? I will. Leave it to me. Well, all right, my dear. We'd be much obliged. something wrong? This castle, it's different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait, you mean you know Snow White? Oh yes, we met once. It was a song that drew us together. Has something happened to the princess? Yes, I'm afraid so. The Wicked Queen tricked her into eating a poisoned apple. I must go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarfs. I will find her. Perhaps there's a way I can help. <sighs> Something's not right. Princess! Why won't you wake up?
you're awake! Ventus! Oh, it's a miracle! Terra! Master Ericus! Ventus is awake! Every waking is a new journey. Maybe Vent left because it was his time. What's that? I think I'd better go take a look inside. There's no way Tara would hurt somebody like that. You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Ven, don't be fooled! Aqua! Terra would never do that. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. Ah, the truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. The Master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. <sighs> Sorry, Aqua. But... I can't go with you. What? It's just... I have to find him before it's too late. Ven! I see you too wield a Keyblade. How do you know about the Keyblade? A source of power. A key that opens the hearts of men, of entire worlds, and allows one to obtain anything and everything. Such a power I find most fascinating. So, Terra... He really? Yes. Now, my dear, would you like to assist me as well? Never! I see. Xehanort was right. You are a most stubborn girl. Master Xehanort, how do you... It seems you need time to consider my offer. Fortunately, I have the perfect place. What? Aqua. It looks like I was caught in a trap. Why are you here? To prevent me from breaking her evil curse, I was to meet the most beautiful girl at a cottage in the Glen. But now my true love lies in an eternal slumber, and only I can break the spell. You must really love her. Is what you said true? Yes. Maleficent told me. Oh, Prince Philip, it's you! Now, Philip, the road to true love may be barred by many more dangers which you alone will have to face. I'm going with you. There's something I need to know and Maleficent has the answer. Yes, of course, dear. Now come along. We must hurry to Aurora.
The forest of thorns shall be your tomb. Wound round the castle in a bower of doom! Maleficent, what did Master Xehanort tell you? Such a pity, child, that you don't have Terra's gift for obedience. Nor can you see how easy it was for him. Terra would never do anything to help you. Quite the contrary. He fully embraced the darkness within himself. Stop lying! See for yourself all the powers of hell! <sighs> It's the power of true love that defeated you. I will not be defeated by something as insignificant as love. You don't even know the first thing about it. You're too clouded by darkness to see that there's something greater. Try all you want, but you'll never defeat a heart filled with light. Perhaps. But remember one thing. As long as there is light, there will be darkness. And in time, many more will be drawn to it. Then they will all belong to me! <laughs> Tara, you better stay strong for me. Excuse me. I'm terribly sorry to bother you, sir. Oh, oh what a well-mannered lass you are. Oh, I'd be pleased as punch to help you, if I can. I'm looking for a boy who's not from around here. Have you seen him? Hmm, I think I know just who you're talking about. He scampered off toward yon castle in a right hurry. Thank you so much. Oh. Tara, I hope you're still there.
I can feel the light. Oh, there's no way I can fight like this. Hurry! You gotta get that girl to some place that's safe. Who are you? Why do you have a keyblade? I'll tell you later. Right now, we gotta stop these things. Aqua. I train under Master Ericus. And I'm Mickey. I used to be Yen Sin's apprentice. I came back to him for some more training. I sense light within this girl. You think that's why they attacked her? Yep. I think you might be absolutely right. If you ask me, she must be somebody pretty extraordinary. Hmm. Yes. I'm quite certain she's someone we're supposed to protect. Let's join forces! Oh no! Not now! I'll be okay! See you real soon! Here! Are these for me? I picked you some flowers. Thank you for saving me. Oh, they're lovely. You're so sweet. My name's Kyrie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Aqua. Kyrie, about that light. Kyrie! Oh. oh, Grandma! Wait, Kyrie, just a minute. <sighs> I just cast a magic spell on you. One day, when you're in trouble, the light within you will lead you to the light of another. Someone to keep you safe. Thanks! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> it's time to go. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Bye! <laughs> hey, Grandma? Mm -hmm. What is it? Could you tell me that story? <laughs> Again, dear? Please. <laughs> Very well, then. <laughs> Long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. Then, people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves, and darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. It covered everything, and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived in the hearts of children. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered, divided from each other. But someday, a door to the innermost darkness will open, and the true light will return. So listen, child. Even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Mm-hmm. Kyrie, something tells me I didn't run into her by accident. First, it never ends.
Pen? Pen. Terra! Aqua! <laughs> Got him. We make a good team. Sure do. Oh, yeah. I got you these tickets. For what? Lifetime passes to Disney Town. He said to... He said to take two grown-ups. You mean us? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Van. We need to get you home. It's okay, Aqua. Trust me, that guy in the mask is history. He'll never badmouth Terra again. <laughs> you saw the boy in the mask? Uh, uh y yes Venitas. Ven, you let Aqua take you home. No way! I want to go with you guys. You can't. We have a dangerous task ahead of us. I don't want you to get hurt. And what is this dangerous task, Terra? It doesn't sound like what the Master told you to do. It might be a different route, but I'm fighting the darkness. I'm not so sure. I've been to the same worlds as you, and I've seen what you've done. You shouldn't put yourself so close to the darkness. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Aqua. Terra would never- You mean you've been spying on me? Is that what he said to do? The Master's orders? He was only... Aqua? I get it. Terra! Just stay put! <laughs> I'm on my own now, all right? Terra, please, listen! The Master has no reason to distrust you, really. He was just worried. You're awful, Aqua. So now you know the truth. But the Master loves Terra. And you know that too. Were you also ordered to take me home? <sighs> Aqua, now that you're a Keyblade Master, you've let it go to your head. I'm gonna go find Terra. <sighs> A mask? You're the boy that Ventus mentioned. Ah, yes. Ventus. Tell me something. Has he learned to put up a decent fight yet? What do you mean? I'll be asking the questions. And why shouldn't I? After all, between the two of us, I'm the only one who will walk away from here alive. <sighs> yes, again! Too slow. 
Who are you? <laughs> Not bad at all. Congratulations. I'll keep you around. Never hurts to have a backup. I have to stop him before anything else happens to Terra and Ven. Aqua! Ven! Were you able to find him? Yeah, but... He's gone. Right. Then I can't stay here. Let me go with you, Aqua. No, Ven. Do as I say and go home. Uh, why won't you let me? I don't want to put you in harm's way. You understand? 